Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the square root of a perfect square. So in other words, these square roots are going to work out nicely and give us clean cut whole number answers. And remember, when finding square roots, we need to think about what number multiplied by itself gives us the number under the square root symbol. So let's jump into our examples and get a better understanding of square roots. Let's start with number one, where we have the square root of nine. So we need to think about what number multiplied by itself will equal nine. So we know that three times three equals nine, right? Three times three equals nine. So that's what I mean by a number three multiplied by itself gives us the number under the square root symbol. So the square root of nine equals three, and that's our answer. Let's move on to number two, where we have the square root of 16. So we need to think again, what number multiplied by itself equals 16? We know four times four equals 16. Four times four equals 16. So a number multiplied by itself gives us the number under the square root symbol. So the square root of 16 equals four, and that's our final answer. Let's move on to numbers three and four, where we have four square roots for each. Three of the four will have square roots of perfect squares, meaning they have a whole number answer, and one will not work out so nicely. Let's solve these and find which ones are the perfect squares and which one is not. So we'll start with number three, and first we have the square root of 81. So we need to think any numbers that multiply by themselves to get 81? Well, nine times nine. So 81 is a perfect square, so the square root of 81 equals nine. So we get a whole number answer there, and that is a perfect square, so I will put a check there. Moving on to the square root of 26, so we need to think any numbers that multiply by itself to equal 26. Well, we know five times five equals 25. That's close, but not quite. And then six times six equals 36. So the square root of 26 is going to be somewhere between five and six. It's not a perfect square, and it's not going to give us a whole number answer. So that's the square root that is not a perfect square within these four. Let's do the other two, which are perfect squares. So the square root of 49. Seven times seven equals 49. So the square root of 49 equals seven. And this is a perfect square. Lastly, we have the square root of 100. And we know 10 times 10 equals 100. So the square root of 100 equals 10. And this is a perfect square. Lastly, number four, we will start with the square root of four. So is there anything that we multiply by itself to equal four? Yes, two times two equals four. So the square root of four equals two. And this is a perfect square. Now we have the square root of 144. Well, 12 times 12 equals 144, so this is a perfect square. The square root of 144 equals 12, and it is a perfect square. Now we have the square root of 64. Eight times eight equals 64, so this is a perfect square. The square root of 64 equals eight. And then lastly, we have the square root of 74. This is not a perfect square, so we're not going to get a whole number answer here. The square root of 74 is going to be somewhere between eight and nine, because eight squared equals 64, and then nine squared equals 81. 
So again, it's going to be somewhere between eight and nine. This is not a perfect square, so we're not going to get a whole number answer. So there you have it. There are some examples of how to find the square root of a perfect square. If you're looking for more videos about square roots, I added those links down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.